Welcome back Definitely. to Unprovoked, the podcast where that. we talk about all things to provoke you and how to navigate through those things. Hi. <laughs> I am your host, Britt. Should he play too much? Wired. <laughs> Britt did a launch and I'm just joking. <laughs> she did the blow. No, I didn't. No. Lucy. Brit, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I had some espresso and she told me, I'm tired. She told me I should have some espresso, but I can't really drink yeah. espresso. I, my heart be like pumping through my chest like... Cool. I could drink coffee, but it cannot be. I cannot have espresso. I can drink I, it all. Die. I felt myself. I don't. I see. I can't have espresso. I can have an espresso martini. She just it anything with real. liquor because it balances, right? It's an upper and a downer, so it makes so me regular. You, so after, you, uh, are, you on one today? Like they just rolling off the tongue. Like she, she after a one. full day of work, yeah, I need balance. Period. So, so yeah, now we're here. I feel Hi, like guys. a very classy bitch, like. But I had a hair question for you. Yes, baby. Uh, does both does you can you feel different on both sides? Like I know, f- can one yes. side of your hair grow differently? Like I feel like I'm more tender headed on this side, right? And I also feel like one side of my hair grows a little <laughs> faster and, and and more fuller. <laughs> Where the can, fuck did this come from? <laughs> can each side of your hair be uneven or like from the scalp though? Like, yes, it could. Cause it's like, like I'm literally like tender headed just right here. My son is tender headed like in the front of his head. I mean that could be like a, a trauma type response. I think of my mama was right, you know, like, probably, especially right? if she was like a right handed and you right it hurt on the right side. Nah, it's yeah. probably from the Dominicans though. Okay, them because you know they see black people and they instantly be like high heat. <laughs> like a long blower. Like Dominicans be wild. As soon as they see you black, they don't know the texture of your hair. Nothing. They just instantly just go on high heat. Burning Yo. your shit. I mean, Dominican burned my hair so bad one time. I miss Mary. Shout out to my beautician. She a cop now. Wow. Whatever. What my transition. hair is not be- Yeah, she's a cop now. So I went and got tried to find a new beautician. And I'm like, I smell fire. I smell fire. <laughs> and my, my, I thought it was with my son's father. That time. He was like, that's your hair. <laughs> Broken. You in the salon, you like... <laughs> I'm like, Miss is too hot. She's like, no, it's good. Right, it's good. First of all, Dominicans is racist, so they just a whole other story. But as soon as like, I see black girls, they go in with the heat, though. They be like, mommy, That's no, probably where it comes from. I first of all, like, my hair is thin wonder, as hell. Thin. Tore you up. Tore you up. With extensions. Tore my ass up. They put me, first off, they put me in a dryer for an hour. My hair is thin, girl. Why are you girl? in a dryer for an hour? Why, is I, why am I under here for so long? Cool. Cool. Yeah, no. I was in the salon that day for like five hours. I said, son, ain't no way when my hair is this thin. Uh, ain't no way. That's what you get. You shouldn't have been cheating. Yeah. First off, you was in Texas. Okay. Cheating okay. hoe. All right. <laughs> Retract your statement. <laughs> this ain't Texas. <laughs> Did you listen to that album? After the first four songs, I turned it off. Thank I'm you for g- being honest. <clears throat> I'm going to give it another go because I hear... This part so like I hear it's I good. I feel like Jolie. people are always gonna say it's good because it's Beyonce. Yeah, yeah, after the first four songs, I said, yeah, this is not how I'm starting. I mean, it's just me. probably not. For All me. right, I know it's and not I just want me. everybody to say I take back a little bit of my statement from last week, thinking Future's album wasn't good because what's that song? Don't trust you. That shit type fire. Yes. Like, <laughs> is I'm not. I won't lie. That it was kind of fire. So. Listen, I take it back. I'll get future. I'll get future my time. I Wait, can. I got a question for y'all. I appreciate that. This is actually completely left field. I don't know why I came up on the top of my we head. Said hello. We said yeah, hello, we did. Right? Yeah, I did while y'all was chatting about her being chisel. <laughs> we'll get back there. Um, oh, I had this conversation yesterday. It wasn't a conversation. It was more like a little of a debate. How long do you think a man has before he cuts off all the other girls he was talking? Oh to? wow, we get straight into it. <laughs> That's so crazy because I had this conversation today. You had it today? Had Not it even today. like that. It kind of shut me clear down. Shut up, girl. I was like, you know what you write. But he, he, I'm like, when was this like before or after? And it was just like, yo, it was at this time. And I'm like, you know, at first, in my head, I can handle everything. Like, I don't care about girls. But today, I was jealous. Why? Because in my head, it's just like, I know it might have been other girls. And I'll let you handle that when you handle it. And then... I come to a realization, no, cut them bitches off right now. He was like, you know, two weeks ago it was over. Go get your mic. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, cut them off right now. Okay, but what was I, the original question? The how long, how long does a man have of y'all talking before all the extras? When we start doing it raw. 
immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here trying to get my thoughts right. I'm just <laughs> You when we start raw dogging, <laughs> you sh- you that's my, you mine now. I want to know everything that's going First on. First of all, if you kick it to me, you kick it to me. You Y'all do it. realize I ain't into it, right? Yeah, because you're different. If you <laughs> kicking it to me, and we all know I've said it a thousand times, I do dating a little different. But if you kicking it to me, and we, you know, because my shit, we together, real bad. Your bitch should have been gone before you even decided you, you wanted me. <laughs> the moment you decided you wanted me That's is the moment one. you decided all them bitches got to go. That's a good one, friend. I like that question. <laughs> mm. How long do you... Because I'm not cutting nobody off. Oh, you're not cutting nobody off. So you're going to play forever. No. No. All right. Okay. Okay, no. Now, all right, if I'm, if I'm not playing no more, if I'm like, all right, we getting serious. How long does it take? Yes. That's the question. How long? When do you expect a man to stop texting? We ain't talking about you. What do you expect from them? <laughs> anyway, I ain't say nothing about me. <laughs> Y'all, I can't answer that right now. I don't know. Well, for me, it's like, for it's me, not, it's not like, ideally, when we start real again, <laughs> then yeah, like, you. St- why are you talking? I feel don't... like it's circumstantial. Like, Ew. I can't put a time <laughs> on it. Yeah, I, I it's, I, because I be playing a lot. Like, and it's just like, I don't know when I'm going to be. My whole playing. thing is I don't really like many people. So then it's like when I kick it with you very often, I like you. Because it's like I really don't like people in my space. So it's like as soon as I like you a little bit, they got to go. Yeah. <laughs> they they got to go right now. I feel like that be... St- <clears throat> like, it's shit like that. Like, bitches be setting themselves up. Because, like, I feel setting themselves up for dudes to lie. Like, if we don't have a conversation about, like... Our next steps so or what we both kind I of never feeling. have those conversations. Ever. Just but I feel it. like dudes be lying. Mm-hmm. They'll be like, "Yeah, I'm only kicking it with you," and they're not. So it's just like, mm, I don't know. I can't. Joe, how long you feel like a man should have before he cuts his bitches off? Like, what are we doing though? Are we just kicking it? Like, yeah, I agree with Brittany. It's situational. Everybody's different. Twin, <laughs> where <laughs> have you been? been? We I feel like it's how they oh, make you feel. Off the gate, bitch. Sorry. Who? And that's mine. <laughs> I licked it so it's mine. <laughs> yeah, but what you want, you don't know if he's doing that, though. Straight lying. I don't give My fuck. whole thing is, though, is because when I meet more. somebody, I stop talking to people, too. Me, too. And that'd be the problem. But that's because I don't know how to date. Right like, me, if I like you, I like you. I made it very clear I don't know how to date. It's like, once That'd it's be like, a nope. my whole thing is like, my fo- first of all, I have a lot going on, period. I got to focus on more than one of y'all. I can't do that. It depends on like what you getting from each, right? Like, the reason, like, certain things for me is like, I'm not settled down because I can only give but so much. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> You better I gotta, tread lightly. Uh, yeah. Relax. <laughs> I do. You gotta, you gotta relax. I you gotta, gotta relax. Um, yeah. I need to pick my words. Anyway, mm. I can give but mm. so much. So it's just like, <laughs> what I can wet. give versus my expectations, them shits like match. I don't expect more than what I'm willing to give. Okay, that's fair. That's, but I expect, I expect for you to not be able to breathe when I'm not around. <laughs> so, Same. if you like, I, I text. I texted this guy and he was like, I was like, the fact that you could live without me is crazy. He was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you like breathing and living and like, we just be okay. Moments. That's crazy. You're okay. You haven't heard from me in four hours. Yeah. Like, how are you okay with that? He was just like, oh, but you're crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's just how I feel. Do you, like, see- do you like affectionate men? Hell yeah. Like, baby. Like. Yeah, I do. Like, how about if a guy, like, doesn't, like, sweet talk you? Like, he just talks to you, like... I love... You can spit game to me all day. I know it's game, and I'm gonna eat that shit the fuck up. No, oh but say, God. like... <laughs> could, how about if you kicking it with somebody, and he's not, like, the sweetest? Like, he's not, like, baby this, or, like... You dismiss. Oh, so you dismiss him? And it, listen, this is the thing. And I'm gonna be dead honest, and I I might regret this when it's come out. But it is what it is. I There was this meme. And it was, like, your best bet is to keep me delusional... Because real me is a cold hearted bitch, Period. and that's a fact. So it's just like if you keep me in my little in my little bubble in this little bubble we got going bitch. on, it's gonna be really nice for you. What? And I'm gonna know that I'm. See, I know 
I'm in a bubble. I know I'm operating delusionally. And, and you can keep, just keep me there. Let me tell you something. I the minute care. I am no longer delusional, it's right. It's, it's you crazy. know, and that's a fact because I already know what I don't like about you. So, right now, keep right. a little girl, you got to swirl it. Like, the other day I was talking to, I was talking to. Swirl it is crazy. Yeah. I love this though, this vitamin, whatever it is. I was talking to, like, my guy and, I mean, not say that. But I was like talking, we was like talking mad regular, right? Mm-hmm. And he was like, you know something? I'm like, well, he was like, you're just so beautiful. And I was like, Stop. baby. He was like, no, like you're beautiful and like, you're just so This is a sweet. message for like, men. Men. Love that. We love when y'all are soft and sweet. And it's like. And if you lie enough. And a lot time. of the times it's like. I know me and Shanice have this problem. We have it very often. Is that we we are homies. Like, we give off homie. Like, you can talk to us about it. We play all we day. I'm like, a homie. We really. That ass the homie. We really <laughs> homies. So then, like, I get it. We're homies. But there got to come a time where it's like, I am your homie. But I'm also the girl you're fucking with. So treat me with a little more like yeah, you know, be so like. But see, that's the thing. Like how I really I, had to check somebody I was talking to one time. I'm like, who the fuck you talking to? But see, I'm able to operate in both worlds, and I make both worlds very clear. I'm able to operate in it's both worlds. Be a mix though, huh? It's got to be a mix. No, I'm able. First so of all, my I guys ch- out there do not just be soft, bro. I'm so you're telling soft. me that my soft man is cheating. Yes, no, not no, in a no. relationship. Though, like. <laughs> We're not together. We're not together. Saying, no, what I'm trying to say room. is, I'm cool with you talking to me like a homie majority of the time. Give me like, a babe I, here, and but then. you want but, exclusivity. Yeah, but I want to you baby like. <laughs> but you also want exclusivity. No, but Kim's thing is like the no, like no bait, like. For instance, like, I be in here and I be, like, talking to my dude on the phone and it's very, like, different from her situation. Yeah. It's very, like... It's that we're friendly, but we also very much babe, 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 babe. You not babe. You babe, babe, baby. Good morning, babe. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Mons is like, babe, 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 babe. It ain't nothing to cut, cut that, that bitch, bitch off. off. Yeah. So, you know, like, you know she they the girl. <laughs> so, it's just like, my girl, like, she, she, she want that. Like, but that's yeah, we the homie, but come on. So, for me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think we said it multiple times. Like, I definitely got, at this point in my life, we got like a six month thing, like six months <gasps> within six months, you don't get it together. And it's like, I, I get, I literally, cause with me, the way I do it is like, Oh my gosh, what? there's something wrong with you. Why? You literally hit six months and hit a, a, a switch. Really yeah, all the time. Do the, do the line. I did a math, just calculated in my head. <laughs> she did the Medea math. Oh my all the time. God. Six weeks. Six weeks, and that's a stretch. Six months. Six weeks. <laughs> For you. Yeah. I don't have time to waste. She no, I'm doing years. the math in my head. I don't let nobody go. Everybody stick around. No, hell be gang. no. No, not like that, but I'll be gang with everybody. I mean, we be gang, gang but... We'll be, we'll gang, we'll be gang, but it's just like the, the status of our, of our relationship. And that's and the thing, too, situation. is like a lot of people Ooh, that I've had dealings with in the past, they feel like I have, like, because I cut them off so sudden, they feel like it's a, a hate thing, like... Bro, I don't hate you. It just ran out of road. And I always say, I always tell them, like, you're a great man. You're just not a great man for me. But see, I be right. And some guy told me, he was like, bro, that's like hitting me with a, it's not you, it's me. All right, if that's how you feel. It very much gives you the man. But see, I do that up front. Not up front, like, you know, two days in. But, like, I'm very, like, I talk a lot. I communicate a lot. I want to know what you're looking for, like what you into. I learn you. So with me, what I do, and I was thinking about this today, and I'm like, yo, what I do is because I know how I come in the beginning. Like when I when I meet somebody, I'm very like, I listen to everything they say. And like now it's like, we talked about it in the past. Like I do a lot of tests. Like in the beginning, I'm very big on like, I need to watch you and I need to see what you do and how you move. And then it's like, because you can tell me you the biggest dog in the world, like you, you know, the biggest, and then I, I, I'm around you, now I see you a little fish. So it's like, you can't hide from me once we're together all the time. So I kick it with somebody, and at the end of the day, when you first meet me, you don't really owe me nothing. Yeah. You don't owe me honesty, you don't owe me loyalty, you don't, you don't owe me nothing, you don't even owe me extravagant dates. You owe me a good time. But then when we start kicking it for real, 
What's for and you real, still though? Don't, if we're together more than three times out of the week, we kick it up for real. See, and but see, that's where it's different for me. I, I don't know if I can give you all that. But your your schedule is different. It's not even just my schedule. It's just where I am in life. Like, right now, I really be dead ass serious. No, like, I'm laughing because we are on three different spots. No, three. Like, all three. for you, it's just like you can't give all of that. For her, Facts. like, if we kicking it three times a week. For me, it's like, I be head over heels for a nigga I see twice a month. <laughs> <laughs> but, our communication, but our communication is like, lock, we locked in. Like, we talk. Like, it's not just like, I don't speak. We speak every single day, all day. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just like. I literally will show up to a situation and let you know what I'm prepared to give. And I, I am not that. a girlfriend. I Right now, I am not a girlfriend because I can't you give you that. You know that you're not a girlfriend right I now. know that. And I know I'm not looking for relationship shit. You're looking for fun. So, it's just like. This You're is what I'm prepared to show me a good time. time. Good time. How it go, Joe? I love that song. What Drake song is that? <laughs> show me a good time. Show me a good time. time. Is that the name of yes. it? That first verse. I'm, I'm, I'm here to make memories with the people I love for the nights that I won't remember. How the fuck do you remember? Wow. Forget. Right. I was, I'm here for the nights that, that I, I can't, can't remember with the, with people, the people I can't, I can't forget. forget. Yes. 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 Like, no. Like, I'm at a space right now where it's just like, when I'm in a relationship, I give everything to my relationship. Like oh, I am fucking dedicated. So you dedicated. know who you are with like, straight you tunnel like vision. That. Yeah, well, I think that's also why I do, especially now. But I can't dating do me that. now is very different about dating me back then. I one thousand percent agree because not for nothing. When you just mentioned the testing, you don't even give tests like that no more. Now? To to no. who? <laughs> Test it all out. <laughs> four, 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 four. Big fail. Big F. Big F. But I mean, my thing too is like, and when I have conversations, like, when I have conversations, when I'm dealing with somebody, like I said, I kick it with somebody and it's definitely like six months. In six months, if what I see and I can't, like, I just can't, it's just, it's not yeah. there. And I literally say it, I'm like, look, at the end of the day, I'm at an age. And it's like, at the end of the day, I don't like to say it because it sounds crazy, but at this point in my life, I need to start dating with intentions. So it's like in six months, if I see, if I literally look at all your qualities and I don't feel like you can be a husband eventually yeah. or the father to my kids or certain, you don't obtain these qualities, we can't be together. And like, and not for nothing, I'm not somebody who can just be like, well, I'm going to just fuck around and just have fun. Mm -hmm. Because who's benefiting? You right. are. Depending. See, but that's the thing, right? Like, I don't somebody feel like... that likes to have fun. No, no. Let me... All right. So somebody likes to have fun. And let me make it very clear. Not hoe fun. But not necessarily... I'm not, I'm not looking for a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I literally could be dealing with one person. And it's very clear about what I want. Now, if I... What I want and what you want, if we can give that to each other, I'm straight. I'm 100% straight. I don't need... You know, a buffet. Right. I'm good with my entree. Well, I want entree. <laughs> That's now, so um, shit, what was my point? What you say? You ain't had one. I did no. have one. I did, and it was good, too. <laughs> you know, the entree I, threw I, me I, off. I, 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 I said that entree I was like, good one, girl. You, you got me there with that one. I don't, I don't, need, I don't need a buffet. Entree, yeah. entree, 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 I said, like, I'm that. dating with intentions, and it's like, and Sigma, I, I look at you, and it's like, this is, I can't see right. myself growing with this person. So that's like, the difference. And I'm not, I'm not somebody that, oh, like, now nah, you, you not, fit to be my man but we can have fun because this is what you are no because i don't benefit from that that's the thing it's the benefit and it's just like well depending on what you're looking for at the time right because in a situation like me a lot some people would be like well only the guy benefits but it's just like well this is what i want and i've had a i've been in a situation where a guy was like i can provide dates and and other things and i was like at the point in my life I was at, I was like, I'm okay with dates and other things. I'm I'm good with that. I don't need nothing more, mm -hmm. nothing less. That was the agreement. We stuck to that. I did my part. He did his part. And we were rocking for a couple years. I had an arrangement like that. It was like I was coming out of a relationship with... I was coming out of. <laughs> <laughs> Why she was she was, she was so discreet. <laughs> I was coming out of something, and he had something. He was coming out of something, and it was just like, 
they're so funny because I told him in the beginning, I said, it's no kissing in the contract. <laughs> Like good time, though. Not no kissing. No kissing in the contract. It was so funny. But I had it. We had an arrangement. We used to have a good time together. Like, not like just not a sexual good time, but like, you were my escape. Like, we would have so much fun around each other. But for me, we did. We was like on for like three years. Yeah. But I got emotionally attached at some point. He used to have to remind me. The lesbianism. (laughs) Yeah. We, I don't know. This is not codependent, but it's something. I don't know what it is. Here we go with the lesbianism. (laughs) I'll be telling you every episode. Y'all go ahead and listen to me. But it was like, (laughs) I started to get emotionally attached. And he used to remind me, like, you not my girl. And when he used to say that, it used to be like a dad. See? And that's what I I won't do. But I've been in that. And that's what I won't do. But see, I've been in that space and and I literally have said, I was like, I have to go self-regulate because you have to remember your arrangement, the rules. A lot of no kissing in the contract. Of, no, a lot of women get in these situations and forget the rules or be like, "I can, I can show him better. I can change his mind." Mm-mm. No, that so man emotions. told you, huh? But I agree. I was very. I was most that, that man, had man a baby. told you what he's prepared to I was give you. Taking no, I was at work and my sister sent me a screenshot and my stomach hit like, uh, I was like, ouch. She was like, you didn't know this? I'm like, no, I didn't know he was having a baby. I mean, now I certain things died. are disrespectful. No, no, no. We, we had already had stopped for like six months. Oh, okay. That's and true. then it was just like, See, no. that shit was crazy to me. Mm-mm. Somebody that is not There's my just, man and I we're mean, not. I mean, Shanice can tell you how I operate. There's just certain things and it's like. I carry myself, how I view myself today as a woman, especially when dating me, is not like, and I, I, I definitely understand what you're saying. If I was in a point where it's like, look, I can't deal with nothing else, but this is what I want, I would a thousand percent sign up for that. But in my head, Shanice tells me all the time, like, bro, your ego is terrible. She has a terrible ego. It's like, so bad. Because who I are agree. you playing with? And see, over here, it's like... <laughs> Ain't nobody playing. We we clear on what's going on. <laughs> no, but my we, we dead ass no. Clear. Who are you playing with? Because if if you if anybody gonna get done dirty, it ain't gonna be we. See, and y'all know me well enough. I'm yeah, black and white. Ain't playing, no, no no dirty. Huh? That's not playing though. How? If you had a arrangement, if there was an arrangement, okay, if that's different, if somebody came to me and was like, "This is the arrangement, you with it?" I would probably say no because I know what I want. Like. You've never been in a situation ship, not, and I'm not talking about like it You're just right, kind of happened, I'm confused. but like a real arrangement. Because my ship was an arrangement. We sat in the fucking car, and I was like, "Listen, no, they I'm never come as an man. arrangement. It never comes as this no, one. We my just have an arrangement. It's, it's You're my, my bitch. Shit, my shit was <laughs> no so, way. No, my shit was so much in the arrangement. Shanice, what is it? They be coming like an arrangement. No, you don't know what an arrangement is. My you. shit was so much of an okay. arrangement. I didn't say, okay, okay. I'm talking about, about the okay. men. They be coming like an arrangement? No. Thank you. But no, niggas never like, do. But they come like it's like what, though? They just come. They just come. So you got to say, like, I, for me, Give it me was some. like. You got to set no, the rules. For, my, for me, it was like. You got to set the I rules. Tell this, this is what I Yo. want. You not willing to do it? That's step. And See, that, that, that's you. Step. That's what you want. For me, it's and like. And I want to step, right. No, I had to and tell him. And they not going nowhere. I said, when I text you an H, that means I'm with him. H with He texts me an H, he's with her. Okay? But yeah, we were no. both at the no. end. Nah, no. And don't text me, don't call me, nothing. Because I knew my relationship was ending. Like, it was over. I'm sorry. So I'm, it's just, I'm like, just not about to be, like, fake relationshiping. No. No, but that's the, what we, the best like, time because we knew what it was. We're very clear on what we're doing. We had so, so much fun. We it is, you literally operate with no pressure. You know what you know what yeah. you deliver to the situation. I know what I deliver yeah. to the situation. We can just be. And then and then this was the only time that I was okay with a man not calling me for two three days. Like right because that I didn't, like, I didn't that's expect anything. Do. I didn't that's, really care. It's like it right. is what it is. Like you do your thing. I do until mine. I'm at a space where I can give more. I'm not, it's certain things that I'm just not going and he, to expect. This, and this to or me, give. this to me is what a situationship is. Yeah. So I don't like, I, I know situationship became a thing, but yeah. people took situationship and turned it in. For me, this is a situationship. This is just something that we doing. A situationship is an agreement between a man and a woman. Thank you. About what it is that they're prepared to give to the situation. And you operate in just that. So y'all got that? Have y'all ever had a situation? It's just that has never been in a Situationship. situationship. And that's crazy to me. 
No. Kim is just not willing. I don't think you're, you. I don't think you can handle the situation. No, because Kim's ego is never gonna no. allow she will a never man to do whatever he want to do. Period. And, and come then around her. Come around me. <laughs> That's the joke about it. You think you gonna do you? And then come to me. The thing, the thing about it is, yeah, they're probably doing they're them probably just in doing secret, it. it's and just that's fine. Lying about <laughs> it, right? Keep her the Lulu. Keep her the Lulu. The crazy part about situationships is they be so honest. Yeah, and I'm not doing that's that. That's why they oh, last. I love it. I love it. They're not like yo, yo, so but that's honest. That's why they last and they're fun yeah. because they're honest. I love honest. it. I that's why people like I've so been in a situationship for five years. And, and you're not and expecting you Like you know what's going what's on So Georgia You've been in a situation ship Yeah For sure And it's cool as fuck <laughs> my That's your time. dog right they, they, That's my they, dog they, they thrive That's what Georgia thrive they, they like this Lock it First of all Your okay. situation ship Be your back <laughs> side like, Yay Ain't no situation Be your back side Okay It's no strings attached You not a headache I'll come pick you up We go eat We go do our thing You go home I go home Yes What you doing I have one of those And let me be clear I'm not necessarily fully advocating for situationships. I'm not against them, clearly. Um, but if you had a certain space in your life and you cannot and do works, a full look, relationship thing, go for it. Yeah, I agree. And Be I, honest. There's certain things I will agree with, and that's why I said in this point of my life, in this point of my life, I feel like eventually I do want to be a mother. I do want to be a wife. Like, there, there are... Things that I do want. Yeah. If it doesn't come, it doesn't come. Maybe it's like, it might not come. But as far as right now, today, I do want to be a mother and I do want to be a wife. Like, so, t- like if you was to get pregnant tomorrow, like you want to be a I mother mean, like tomorrow. I don't have a husband, so no. Okay. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. No, I don't want to be a mom like that. Like I want to just, I want to be a mom. Well, so I'm gonna be, in the house if you need to. No, 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 no. Like I'm not. No, if I meet somebody and mm-hmm. it's like I could see myself spending the rest of my life with this yeah, person, 100%. that's different. 100%. But that's why when I do date now and it's like I can't see myself ever spending it. Like even just we've discussed this before. Lifestyle is a very big thing for me. Mm-hmm. So it's like there's certain things now I ask and I see and there's just certain things like, bro, I obtained this at 27. I'm clearly not stopping now. So um, now when I date, I look at people like you're gonna you're gonna block me from being as big as I need to be if I ever think me and you are gonna be something serious. Mm. Cause the way you view life is little, and the way I view life is big. So I can't be with you. Like it's fun, it's cool, yeah, but you're not going far. Like, see with certain like with certain situations, right? Like I've literally have and with me when I when I have sexual encounters with people, it is emotional for me. Like, I can't do sex with no emotions. I can't do it. Mm-mm. <laughs> Should he? Should he play? I can make the dope stretch. <laughs> Should he play? It's so crazy. I had a conversation yesterday with somebody, and I was like, first of all, you knew who I was. Way you knew who before. I was is crazy. Yo, I, know, I hate when you out, say that. You knew who I was true. I tell, I, because I'm, I'm very... Forward with who I am. Yeah. When I'm single. Yeah. I'm single. Uh, so I'm gonna do single things. Yeah. Now, which is not sleep around with a bunch of people, but yeah. I'm gonna date. Yeah. I'm gonna date. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? So I had that. It's, I had definitely had this conversation yesterday, and it came out like, oh, so you just out here hoeing? It's like, no, I'm not out here hoeing. Why is that the but, first thought? Right. I'm like, but I said in retrospect, Damn. I told you knew who I was before we were like together, and I was very. My point was, I was very honest with you. Yeah. I didn't lie. And I had this conversation today, too. I was very honest with you. I didn't lie to you. And that should already tell you about my character. So why today would I lie to you? Yeah. That didn't make sense. So the conversation I had today, somebody said, and I want y'all guys to stop lying. He's like. Bitches better be. uh, Women, I need you to be ready to receive the truth. If men going to stop lying, women be ready to receive the truth. No, right. So. My That's conversation today, like the conversation I had yesterday was with somebody from my past. The conversation I had today was with somebody current. And it was just like, well, I know something. I just never said something to you. And I'm like, well, what is it? Like, oh, did you you talk to such and such or you tried to get such and such? I'm like, who? what are you talking about? I'm not going to say nothing. Like, giving me the runaround. Be honest with me because I'm be honest with you. When he said the name, I said, I asked this man to mount a TV for me. I could show you why I told him I was going to pay him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, again, 
I told you the truth from the jump who mm-hmm. I was. I told mm-hmm. anything that I've ever did that I felt like would have been a problem to you, I was honest with you. So now, why now would I lie about mm-hmm. it? Be on. You have to be honest. You have to be upfront. You have I mean, to be very that forward. I definitely agree with. Like, there's been times that I've been in situations where it was like, I know you know somebody I fucked with. There's no way in the world I'm gonna fuck with you and not mention that I fucked with somebody that you know. You know, because sometimes you just gotta make the dope stretch. <laughs> just got to, so it's like know? I'm gonna be honest. If you yeah, choose to fuck honest. with me after that, that's on you. Yeah. So you there do. was a situation that I was in. This was years ago. Like right. And meanwhile, this person did a bid. Came home. I got with them after the bid, and I told them exactly what it was. Yeah. Blah blah. I, I was with this person, etc. We now like. Six months in, and he made a comment like, "Yeah, it's hard for me to take this serious because you go to hell." Quit. Then this is go why I tell you up front. So go you can't. Don't ever bring that shit up. Go to like, hell. Don't bring it up. I told you what it was. You chose to go still fuck to with me. Yep. Now six months later, you're going to talk about. Oh, but it's still weird that a boy missed no. me with that. Yep, and that's my thing. Do not bring up something. If, t- I'm, I'm, if I'm honest with you in the beginning, that should escape car right there. Like, mm-hmm. if you like, oh, I can't handle this, bounce right there and then because mm-hmm. you can never bring this shit up again to me. Because now I'm going to leave. I can ne- like, that was my thing. Like, y'all know how, like, I don't have a problem having uncomfortable conversations. Okay. I've never wanted to be in that situation. So it was just like, the dudes that I have fun- uh, messed with, you know, whatever, over time, I was like, y'all never be in the same room with each other. Oh. Well, I <laughs> never like, wanted to have that conversation. I'm very, like, I, I definitely agree with that. I am big with that. But there's certain situations, like, first off, I didn't even think in, in a million years. But first. Right. Right. And be will ever know each other. If you ever dealt with somebody who did do a bid, the people that they know is absolutely absurd. Because. Why y'all know each other? So what? Well, them niggas, they, they know buggies. about they, they know buggies. about they, niggas in jail know about shit before it even hit the streets. Okay, all they got do, do, do time is to talk. So they now it's like, all right, that, yeah, that's not my fault, but okay, all right now. But I, I told you. Mm-hmm. But my whole thing is, in that sense, it's like, um, damn, I definitely forgot my train of thought. But oh, did you? Huh? <laughs> now you know how I fucking feel. <laughs> Yeah, they're just saying, uh, no, like right now, it, it, like I said, what I speak, I'm speaking for right now. Yeah. Right now, I'm just not willing to accept certain things, especially where I'm at in life. Yeah. I feel like, no, absolutely not. Like, and I was explaining it to somebody I did deal with, and I was like, I worked really hard to get here. Yeah. Like, I worked really, really, really hard to get here. I climbed out of a lot of holes to get here, and... I can't go backwards by accepting certain things. Yeah. So that's why I think today I'm in that place. You know what it is for me over here? I feel like, oh, this might bite me in the ass. <laughs> um, men are a tool. I don't disagree. Men are a t- Where I'm at right now in my life, men are a tool. Like, mm-hmm. what you saying, like... I've worked so hard to get to where I am. Like, you did that off the strength of your own mm-hmm. everything. So it's just, like, when it comes to certain things, like, I'm like I'm building a business, right? It's just, it's me. It's, I don't have a guy that's, like, helping me. I don't have a, even, I don't have a guy that's financing it. Like, I am grinding. So it's just, like, when it comes to certain aspects of life, it's just, like, mm, the hard things I'm dealing with. You? Are just in a tool mm-hmm. to help me get through. You might be a stress reliever. You know, us going on dates might help me take my mind off of it, things like that. But it's just like right now in this area in my life, you're just a tool. But I, once I'm I past that like, or certain things or somebody shows me different, then I, I might look at it a little I don't differently. See her ever like me? Huh? Yeah, like how we can look at them as just tools. Like I could just get up and go. Because like, Kim is a lover girl. At the end of the day, a lover, she's inside, a lover girl she's with a an lover ego. Girl. And that is the problem. <laughs> like her lover, lover girl, girl. And I feel like both. I feel like you're you're one, and I'm one too. But they're a little deeper down. Yeah, Kim's lover girl is a little more surface. Yeah. So, which is why she has so much ego. A hundred percent. 
Because it's like you're not about to play me. Yeah, where it's just it's like, always you're not well, about to play yeah, me. Yeah, it's always you're not about to play me. I'd be like, girl, just say it. The fuck? Like, like, what's like, the worst that's gonna happen? Like, bitch, fuck that. I saw her the other day. I said, are you afraid that somebody's gonna be like? I said, do you? She was like, she was like, you act like somebody gonna be on the blow <laughs> <or> the <laughs> Like, I play Kim. I play like that's how she acts. Like, I play Kim. Everybody, the blow is crazy. That's how she like. I got a chance to play Kim. That's how she. I'll be like, it's not that. Is that how you feel? Oh, yeah. She said, yeah. Huh? You said, yeah. <laughs> I said, don't nobody know about that conversation, but Yo, you and that said, person, huh? whoever else you tell. Wow. Nobody else knows. Like, I got situations that I'm embarrassed about, but I don't give a fuck. I still address them shits in my own way. Nah, you know what it is with me? And I I do want to work on it, but I'm and I'm very transparent about it. The people that I do deal with, that I choose, like, I choose to have dealings with, they are of, I deal with a lot of people who are very, I've said this before, like emotionally unavailable. So it's like, they come off in the sense of like, they think they him. Well, I think I'm her. So uh, like, it's like dick measuring. Yeah. So it's like, I think I'm her, I'm her. but I do feel, and Shanice agrees like that. I'm going to meet somebody that. When somebody is for me, I'm not going to have to battle with my ego. Yeah. This shit's going to be shut off. Yeah. Like, I'm going to not have to deal with certain things. But today, with certain people that I deal with, like, the people that I have come across, it's like, you think you're him? I bet. So now I got to show you that. Because when I first come into this situation, I come into it very soft and submissive. And, you know, I mm-hmm. allow you to mm-hmm. lead. Until I see where you're leading me. And I said, okay, now I'll show you I'm big because dog. you think you're him, I'm going to show you I'm her. And yeah. I've had a lot of situations that I deal with men. And I'm like, I think the issue is, is that I allowed you to feel like something that it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I allowed yeah. you to feel like, especially right now, I'm in the house. Yeah. I don't do certain yeah. things. Like not outside. I'm not outside the way I used to be. Like, I don't act like, you know, I don't do any of anything. So even one time I was like, bro, we was beefing. You was outside. He was like, and he was like, how you know I was outside? You blocked me off of everything. And I'm like, I seen it on somebody's story. He was like, I'm never around nobody you know. I said, and that's your problem right there. You yeah. think I don't know nobody. You don't even know who I am. That's the problem. Like, Right. Right, that part. I think that's a, a good part to highlight where it's just like, especially with you, like a lot of dudes, well, dudes that you deal with really don't know like who you are because you, <laughs> like right now, you in the house, you chilling, you low. Mm-hmm. But once upon a time, <laughs> once upon a time, that wasn't the case. And I do have to explain that to a lot of people. It's like, I think right now you're taking it as, and like I said, I right now I'm dating with intention. So you might get lucky. I come. And <laughs> I'm very bitch. Don't I'm sorry. Me. I'm a stupid mother. Shitty's almost you know choked on her old ear. I didn't expect that. What? Dating You're dating with intention. intention. Yeah. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Mean I said six months, bitch. <laughs> I do date with intentions until I see the intent is not there. <laughs> y'all, these, I'm telling y'all, y'all these be real conversations. <laughs> we confused. I date with intentions. Kim is, is don't is, drag is, me in this shit. Kim is going to be dating with intention. Don't yeah, drag, like, so she's she's moving dragging forward. <laughs> she's dragging me in it. I don't have nothing to do with it. Locked it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, Twin. I'm just thinking in this era, we dating with intention. No, not right, this right, era. like right now. <laughs> Today. Like right now. Today. Can't be, can't be right you now. 2024 today to the date with attention. Mm-mm. Can't yeah, be I'll right take now. None of y'all niggas serious. This is everybody, all these niggas is for the streets. Moving forward, Jojo not for the streets. Jojo are different. Jojo different. Jojo, Jojo man that read the Jojo. Bible like my brother. A hundred percent. Jojo is about to start a work. But well, I did hear you cannot take a man serious if he doesn't lead you closer to God. Okay, th- okay. Time out. <laughs> time out. Time out. Time in. Right. If a man, and I'm not going to say this is the only quality, but if a man is not God-fearing, that is a huge red flag for What do you me. think is God-fearing? I mean, God-fearing is God-fearing, fearing God. Mm-hmm. So if you don't fear God as a man, and if you don't fear God, that means you don't hold his values, mm-hmm. commandments, things like that. You don't hold those in any esteem. You don't 
look at those things to guide you to make your decisions. Do you believe when they say it's God, man, woman? God, man, woman in terms of what? That's the... Like the hierarchy? Yeah, it's like God, man, woman. Yes. Okay. All right, now. And and that's a lot coming from women like us because we're all alpha women. So we're all an alpha woman. I what do agree with that. bookshelf together. But, Put that oh, no, TV on the wall. I am I feel a like, warm, a No, I am completely woman. in the, you know, opinion of feel like whatever y'all want to say. Um, that like, <laughs> they know who I'm talking to. A, a man leads, but a woman is the one who actually causes the man to lead. Behind every great man is a phenomenal one. You believe woman. in that? A woman, a great woman, makes a man his best self. They say, like, if you meet a man that has, a, a like, great qualities, but, like, nothing has hit for him yet, it's because he didn't meet a He's woman. He's missing. Mm-hmm. He's missing that, that support system. Women were designed to be a support for men. And I think in modern times it has become like submissive and women are supposed to be take a back seat but if you really look at the most powerful men in the world like they are all married they have a woman by their side the man might be the head but the woman is the neck mm-hmm. and the head ain't going nowhere if the neck don't make make a movement mm-hmm. so it's one of those Ooh, things that was where it's word. like okay period so it's one of those things like that's why I'm always like as a woman Focus on yourself. Focus on being the best woman you can be. Because when it's time that God blesses you with a man or that partnership, you are able to pour into him and make him be his best. Mm-hmm. Like I've had to have him his best mm-hmm. provides you with so much because he's right. gonna he's gonna see your value. Yeah. But it's like if you don't add to him, he can't add to you. Right. Right. So it's one of those things where it's just like right. That's why I'm so much like right now. I'm not focused on a I relationship build, yeah. because I'm out here trying to make sure I'm as close to my best self as I can. Right. So when that man does come, baby, I can pour into you as much as you gonna pour back into me. Well, my, we straight. Like when I do do Bible study, they're like, and for men and for women, it goes from boy to man to husband, mm-hmm. and then it goes from girl woman. To wife. Right. It's like as a woman, and that's the area you're saying you're in, you're yeah. building. 100%. You're building. And once you're, we're always going to be building, but then it's like once you're in this area, then you are now have a mindset of a wife. Right. So it's like as a wife, that's why they say like Proverbs was created because that's how it's supposed to, that's the, like even the way we date. It's not support. We're not supposed to do that. No, we're doing it the worldly way. Yeah, it's so worldly. It's so it's yeah. so it's so flesh like. <laughs> <laughs> it's not supposed to be like that. You're supposed to meet somebody. They say you're supposed to be married within six months. I mean, I know some people that Data, like a relationship isn't a real thing. They are aren't. They aren't. It's to a certain to degree, court, I agree. It's called courtship. To a certain degree, you're not I supposed agree. to be touching each other, doing none of that. You're getting to know them. <laughs> Twin, where have you been? Nobody knows me. You miss me with this like, whole conversation. Jump, jump. Would you? Would you get in a relationship with somebody you ain't sleep with? A relationship? <laughs> no, bitch. You see me right now. Do you buy cars without test driving? Let me stop. What am I going to um, now? Like, would I get? <laughs> Okay. okay. All right. So the answer to that for me, when I get in a relationship with somebody I have not you know I how, can't is, how important is sexual chemistry? Like on a scale of what? One to ten. Eight. <laughs> Eleven and a half. <laughs> I, I said eight, I said eight to keep it cute. <laughs> I said eight to keep it cute for the camera. How important is it for you? You know I'm nasty. So it's very important. She said, you know I'm nasty. Let me tell you right now. <laughs> if we're going to be in a relationship together, we need to be. You know, let's, let's think of a game that we're going to do. And we're going to do these shots. Yeah, but then you're kind of playing both sides of the fence. How? Me? Godly and. Because you want half of your relationship. No, but I, I'm half. not, not going to lie. The Lord, no. Me and him are close. He know I'm right now, I'm a little hot and cold. <laughs> I'm getting things together. I'm not perfect. Right? These but. More than a shot. That's a double. But, um, 
I do feel like. So you kind of want a God fear man that lives in the world. But if I was okay, so if I was to meet a man and he was like honestly like if he was God fearing, he was like I'm celibate. But I felt like he might be the one. I have no problem like controlling my urges. No, I do. I have no problem teaching a man how to please me. No. Oh problem. wait, so you could do other stuff, but just not the hanky panky. <laughs> well, other stuff like what? You just said please me. Like, like yeah. What other pleasing is there? But no, I'm saying like if we were celibate until like what a is cer- celibate? Not having sex. Sex. Right? Nah, well, what's the no? I need serious. no. I need the what's the definition of yeah, I need to know. Nothing. That's that's very important. What you say, JoJo? You can't do nothing being celibate. Like, no, I can't do that. No, I can kiss you. They ain't say nothing about kissing in the body. <laughs> 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 nah, I'm, just, I'm saying celibacy is more than just sex, though. So no, no two in the pink one. Sexual pink? relations. Sexual relations. That's, that's penetration. Anything. Penetration. That's no anything. penetration. That's penetration and what oral. Should I be like, I, we need, is no, celibate. we need a common definition of what celibacy is for me to answer it. Right, I need to know because I cannot. Now, if we just doing like, you know, we not about to be dry I humping. Be like we doing, mm, okay. yeah. It says some people abstain from all kinds of sexual contact, including kissing or holding hands. We not about to not kiss. <laughs> <laughs> we not fucking Puritans now. The fuck. But if I met a guy, no, no. Honestly speaking, if I met a guy. And he was like, honestly, like a part of my walk in life is like I'm abstaining from sex until I'm married. And I'm like, and he fits a lot of the characteristics that I want in a husband. All right, fine. Like, we don't have to have sex. But the minute we do, my brother, (laughs) I don't ever see myself. uh, I feel like you can teach somebody to how to maneuver through your body and how to please you. But you also need to know your body. And a lot of women don't. Yeah, I don't. And see I think that's why that. one reason why they can't, Mm-mm. you know, I could see myself not immediately having sexual encounters with somebody off the back. Maybe three months, four months, I could go without it. But I'm not wait. I, if you de- if we decide we're not getting married for four years, <laughs> I'm not doing that. That's insanity to me. Yeah, I was over here lying. What, about no, you, what are we trying to prove? <laughs> Four years is okay. Boy, what are we nah, trying to prove for you? God for good. What are we trying to prove for real? I mean, I definitely had the longest situation ship What's I the ever the longest you went without sex? In a relationship? Like, in general? Probably a few months. Shanice. The longest. <laughs> <laughs> are you talking to <laughs> Um, <laughs> I know how to make the. <laughs> wait, okay, wait. How old were you? <coughs> how old were you? Like, how old I were you? Make the dope stretch. <laughs> That's a good question. I don't remember. I don't. I, I mean, I've done it in stretches before. Like, so the longest you went was definitely a few months. Like, like three months, four months. Bitch, I don't months. remember. I'm gonna wild like, pick school. one. Every time I go to Costco and be like, Kim, I'm so horny. <laughs> I got 40 years I went to Costco But I was going a while Without having sex Like what Four months Six months Three months I would say four months for me I would say six months Wow I would say four months For me it was like 18 months <gasps> But I was also me, like We had this conversation I did the poll With my close friends I was time. young Girl I was a lot younger 18 months What was you Younger doing? What The fuck It was between my first And my second Oh okay That makes oh, sense Oh that's different that Okay sense. Fine Okay. That's way to be different. Honest with now, you, as as a big adult, that, that shit was weeks. When I did my my poll, first and my second was years. When I did the poll of my close friends about how long girls can go without sex, mm-hmm. for me it's just like a lot of girls that they can go more than a year. I can't go more than a year because a rose or a toy is gonna do what it's supposed to do. But is I need to physically feel a man to really be like you know that's just how I am. Depending on where I'm at in life, I can't. I don't know about a year, but I can go some time without sex. Depending on like what I'm focused on, that I agree with. Depending on your focus, too. I was gonna say I've been in a situation with somebody, and it was like my longest situation ship, and I could probably count on like one or two hands how many times we've been together. I can too. A situation ship, and you can count one or two times how many I times can. I had sex. I can. We've well, been together shit. for like over three years, and you can count on one hand how many times I had sex. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. My <laughs> hell a bu- no. A, a bullshit. <laughs> a bullshit. A hell no. A situation ship. Are we doing it, <laughs> girl? Don't give me stuff. We're doing. That it. was my man. <laughs> and y'all was doing it. I don't want to. Y'all can, 
About five times. Or more or less. Give or take. If it ain't five, it's like seven. Ah, in three years? Kim. <laughs> hold up. What is that math? It, right now, it's 2024. Probably five years. <laughs> you know what? Great. I love that for you. I, I love that for God you. God bless you. Um, I ain't finna be with nobody for that long. And I still, and I stick beside him. And I'm still, that's your man. And I'm still beside him. But I was in that him. kind of situation too, so I get it, girl. I get it. I get and I'm gonna stick beside him. That's how it was. Penetration. It was like, yo, I, it was so intense. Without it, it was like, wow, that's crazy. At that point, we friends. <laughs> friends. And I never looked at it like that. Ever. Bullshit. If we in a situation ship, we're doing it. Wild. <laughs> we're doing it. Wild. <laughs> We're doing it. And right doing it. I mean, if it was like today, I, I would have definitely been like, what the fuck is good? Like, Y'all like me? <laughs> Y'all like me like that? <laughs> what the fuck is good, my guy? <laughs> like, let's talk about it. Because you clearly need, like, but, yeah, no, it was very different. That is crazy. Old Only time I felt like that, it was when my nigga was in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, child, like I say, nigga, every day, right? Shut up, Shanice. <laughs> the fuck up. What are you talking about? <laughs> Not shut up, Shanice. I'm like, away. <laughs> That's all I felt. Prison. <laughs> we couldn't do it. But I, I've come to understand. For me, I don't even know how we got here. Sex is the way I express myself too. Me too. So it's one of those things. One, I don't express myself to a lot of people like that. And then it's like for that specific person. That's how I express myself. So I'm not about to be like, oh my God, I just love you so much. Yeah, and I, do, oh. I feel like when I'm sexually compatible with somebody, yeah. I'm not sexually compatible with a lot of people. 100%. So I don't try like, to be. I don't yeah, want to. I don't want like, to. Oh, I didn't notice yeah. how important that was until like talking to y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we had that meeting. That's why you need good girlfriends. Yeah, okay? Meeting. You got to yeah. talk it out. Sexual compatibility is important. 100%. Like, because for one, like, for one, you don't want to give your body to everybody. That's Mm-mm. one. But then when you do meet somebody who, you know. You want like, to give your body yeah, to. Yeah, and then y'all are here with it. Like, you don't even have to touch me. You could look at me, and I'm already, it's already, like, Yeah, you want to go to the park. room? <laughs> and that's what I was saying earlier about, mm-hmm. like, yo, it's different. Like, you can be somebody homie, but then it's, like, you should be able to look at each other and just have this instant, like, <gasps> feeling, you know, like. Yeah. Like that knot in your stomach. And if somebody's not doing it for you, it's just Listen. a waste of time. It's a waste of time. If, so, waste of if time you can't look effort, at your person and be like, got that knot in your stomach. Listen, like, let me tell you something. If your coochie don't get a heartbeat for your man, then you y'all, got the wrong man. Compa- not let even that. Go. Y'all sexual compa- let go. compatibility ain't really on what is on. Mm. That's okay? a, that's it's a supposed word. to Get a heartbeat. If you get a heartbeat for him, then okay. That's a word. Something. If your coochie does not get a heartbeat from your man or the man that you are entertaining, mm-hmm. baby girl, move on. Yeah. Period. Yeah. It Why do we t- have shots? He should not that? have to I rub mean, up the y'all engine. Y'all gonna talk about coochies. You gonna talk about sex workers too? <laughs> Carisha. Sex worker. <laughs> little <laughs> sex I worker. I was talking about young Tusi. Sex a- a- worker. Not a princess. <laughs> Little okay. sex worker. Or, or are we talking about Daphne Joy? <laughs> Little sex worker. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. 50 Cent, I don't care what nobody say about him. The whole world can hate him. I love I him. love 50 Cent. No, like. Little sex worker. <laughs> That's just he was it. like that's just little like frame dot, 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 dot. Never mind. I ain't even going to do that. Little sex worker. That is wild. The fact Imagine that. Imagine finding your baby mom was a sex worker. She is mentioned in court documents that's as it. being on payroll mm. as a sex worker. That is prostitution. What 50 said? See, I don't want no problems with people. And then they want a problem. I said, you want a problem? No problem. <laughs> this girl want a problem. <laughs> Leave that man alone. Why y'all keep bothering this man, you little sex worker? I have nothing against sex workers. You know, get, your, get your queen how you do. That shit was so funny. <laughs> but Daphne Joy Boy bought that on herself. Yeah. Why she write that long paragraph? Well, you bought that on. You know what you in the news for, and you come after the biggest internet troll out here, which is your baby Ooh. dad, Daphne. 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 <laughs> Daph. 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 You bought it all on yourself. And I ain't gonna lie. Like, first off, shout out to JT for we never realized like that whole city girl split 
being as deep as it was, but clearly there was something going on, and JT peeped it and was JC like, "JC said I'm not going back to jail, no bars." Okay, okay. okay. She said I'm not going back, yeah. no bars. She said, "Why freedom?" <laughs> <laughs> I had a choice. And Period. I okay, but do y'all and believe I'm the allegations? The do you believe the allegations? Yes. That you believe that Carisha is allegedly a sex worker and Daphne Joy is allegedly. I a sex feel yes. like Carisha. Um. Was you at that it? point that yes. she would have done anything. But y'all seen the, the viral video and she said, "I'm a whore," like with a W. Yes, That's with Jason it? Lee. Yes. Okay, Carisha. Like, I, and now she ain't saying too much either, which is telling me everything I need to know. Nobody is. is. The thing about it is, like, everybody is saying the silence is speaking so very loud, and it's just like looking back on the whole Carisha and Diddy era. And I know we talked about City Girls last episode, but looking on the Carisha and Diddy era. And it's just like it was so glorified and glamorized to but be. But it was the Diddy and Carisha era was a proud situationship. She was okay with whatever it was because the where perks. Diddy ranked her, yeah, like the perks that came with Diddy, a hundred percent. So she took it like revolt. Like everything she, she got, got had a talk hair. show. She got everything she, she could had a hair. She got that Maybach truck. She and had a lot like, of things. She from basically us. she a bottom hole. Right. It was like she's bottom hole. Yeah. She took whatever it was to be that bitch, mm-hmm. you know, and took Until the perks. She wasn't. It. Yep. And now it's like, look at what you dragged yourself into. For- because right now it's just like I was in the comments. I was in her comments. Okay. She had posted something about the yams, and I was like. Yes, young Tusi, like pink powder princess, because now that's what they said she was on. They said she, she was trafficking Tusi for him, but it's just mm-hmm. like Carisha, like you've aligned yourself so much with Diddy that like you can't disassociate. Mm-hmm. No matter what you do, the Yams era and releasing songs and shit like that, all we see is you. And Diddy, because mm-hmm. for the longest, you've been allowing yourself to put okay, and we go together you and real that, bad. Period. Like and that's the whole thing. And y'all gonna be real, real bad, bad together. Real bad. Like your name mentioned, baby girl. Like girl. So it it was I was watch like watching all this unfold and it was just like the amount of women or young girls that she may have influenced for this lifestyle. And it's just like watching it all crumble. Mm-hmm. I feel bad for her. And I, I, I don't think she feel bad for herself. I mean, she trying to rebuild her, her persona, less Diddy. If you look at everything, you ain't seen her tied to him. Everything she doing don't have shit. But to that's do with why Diddy. I'm saying, like right now, I think Carisha time is definitely over. Same. And if you look at JT, like yo JT, you saw that video of JT in the club with the the t shirts. Yes. With the- City. It was. It said City Cinderella. It said something, but it, it was like City Cinderella. First of all, that was like back in the day when you used to promote yourselves with t shirts on. Yes, yes. And it was like, yo, JT really getting it out the mud yes. to associate herself with she's just her. Yes. Like that sounds some like don't associate me with them type of people because this is who I am and this is what I'm doing. But, but I was on that. TikTok she, she and I said that. it. I was like, honestly, I was like, JT has always been the talent and Carisha has just been the face mm-hmm. because she was more outgoing. Mm-hmm. JT will say it. I don't fuck with y'all bitches. Like she over here in the cup. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, she's still a talent. Yeah. So people clowning her for selling out or like having concerts at these small venues. But it's just like that's how you build your fan base. Yeah, she's building. A you new sell brand. out these these small venues, and then you build. Mm-hmm. Carisha, I respect what's what JT is doing. I, like honestly, 100%. if I was like JT younger really in the field. and okay with the clubs, I would go see JT yeah. at the club. It's not my shit right now, but I 100% like I'll support any project she do. I'll support any record she drop. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, the record she dropped is hot. Sideways is my shit. God, I'm looking at him sideways. Period. Yeah, I love I love me some JT. I do too. Like, I told you, to J- pin, JT is my also ego. People try to pin the JT. I like and, Curry and Yo, it's crazy because if you, you go back and we said, like, who's our favorite city girl? Right. We said Carisha. But Carisha is my favorite city girl. I still stand by that. I like she her. She has my personality. Yeah, I like her because of her personality. And she is, like, fun. She's like that part. Like, she she's funny. You mm-hmm. get me? But it's like, what, what the... And it's not just her. What girls, what women are willing to do over a man just to get a little it's bit not of women the women though, it's everybody. 
Yeah. It's a dollar. It's, it's not even, even just a man. It's a dollar. Male rappers getting touched in their butt too. Hey, Meek Mill. Yeah, hey, hold on. Y'all heard really? the audio? The Bro, audio. stop idolizing these people. Mm-hmm. Like, the thing about it is it's, a, it's over a fucking dollar. Mm-hmm. Once you see what people really willing to do over money. Girl, being a bartender showed me that shit from the youngest age. Yeah. Like... Being in that life, because it's like you're the cl- you're the closest thing to that. Because it's like, like I said all the time, like most rappers go for them type of girls because the looks or whatever. And it's like you see what girls are willing to do and for money. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, and that's why there were certain things like a promoter at one time was like, "You're not made for the strip club," and I'm like, "What you said that for?" Because like. I would have people pull up, but they was my people. And I'm like, what you said that for? And he was like, because look how these girls act. Like, they bending over, they're twerking. He was like, you don't do none of that. And I'm like, but I don't have to. Like, I still make my money. I still make the same money that old girl made. I just didn't. But y'all fucked up the game. Y'all fucked it up. Yeah. So, like, you doing all this for something. And it was like, I had a conversation one time, and I was like, there was mad people in the club that wouldn't sit with her. Because they fucked her already. And I was like, I'm like, that's why you don't fuck with people. Like, just because they're customers. Because once you're done, they're going to the next one. Yeah. So it was like, Carisha, you did all that. And it's like, he very much is forgetting about you. And sis out here fighting for her life. That's like, like everything come with a price tag, though. Of course it does. And we like, you know what's funny? It's just like as regular people, we are literally seeing the downfall of the entertainment industry. The people that we see at the top of the top or the people that we idolize or people idolize, we are literally seeing them fall apart. And even with her, it's just like girls that looked up to that lifestyle is literally seeing the rise and the fucking fall mm-hmm. of that lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And now you got her like Literally, Carisha is out here fighting for her life, trying to remain relevant. But we all knew you cannot rap. Mm -hmm. You are not the talent of the city girls. So yeah, you can have the Yams era and you could be out here like, you know, you out here with aligning yourself with Ari. You could be doing this whole press campaign to disassociate yourself from Diddy. But it was like, honestly, Diddy is what made you hot. Diddy is what made you like. That girl, yeah, he, put, he definitely put more eyes on her. A hundred percent. Outside of JT, it was real bad. A hundred percent. Outside of JT and Diddy, it's just like okay. The who conversation. Is, who is Carisha? Is definitely going to be like, can you stand alone? Yeah. We'll see. It's easy, calm, easy go. Who? It's easy, calm, easy go. Period. Period. You know what I mean? Somebody did they say they do all this stuff to get the attention. That shit like that is gone. It's over. Listen. Somebody said, and I'm a and I'm a quote this. It said, "Y'all don't see Kanye crazy ass in none of them court document." One thing and I about said, it, my boy, for sure, my boy. Take a shot. Jojo said, "At at." This my mama. Which what's that? She do this every time. It's what, why? Where your shot? Too. This my shot right here. Why you got water? You got an hour. We got an hour. Say one thing, and we all got to take a shot to it. One thing about what? what? Anything. It could be like never have I ever type shot. It could be you're in charge right now. Not not me. This ain't even my shit. You what? gave me the shot. I poured the shot, but you gotta think of something. I'm terrible at stuff like wow. that. Wow. And Brittany okay. Good. That's why I picked her. Whoa. You know your friend. Um Okay. Like wait, what is this supposed to be about? Anything. Let's just... never have I ever? Never have I ever. A I statement. Huh? We have 500 subscribers. Girl, we oh, so that. we're cheering. Oh, yes, and on oh, yes, oh, he he put it in the it. chat. I think we answered to it. I said, "Yo, wow, all I'm gonna say wild. is I have a lot going on right now, and my brain is very overwhelmed." <laughs> this is my full well, shot. Well, we today. are so appreciative. That's why you're of our 500 subscribers on YouTube. This is y'all. Thank y'all for the support. We're oh, so I'm happy. My shot. Our 4100 followers on TikTok. And our 2,100 <laughs> followers on Instagram. We want? love you guys. She know the I, do, I do be looking at shit, y'all. <laughs> oh, we love you guys. And we yeah. promise to keep bringing you amazing content. Get us to 200,000 likes on TikTok, please. And, wow, that too. And? 
And um, drop your inside the group chat because we really do want to know what y'all want to say. Right, we be going off on tangents. Right. Y'all heard? I don't even know how we got here, but and how we got here about the sex workers. But here we are. Cheers. Little sex. Shout out to the little sex workers. Shout out Cheers. to the little sex workers. Follow Actually, Cam's only fans. Love who? you. <laughs> Oh, oh my baby. god. Oh. That needed to be chill. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. See y'all next week.